I'm gonna improve your putting today with three tips that are so good, I call them my Jedi mind tricks. Matter of fact, the last one is something that tour pros do that I guarantee you've watched, but you've never noticed. Number three has to do with green reading and how we approach green reading. Now, the whole purpose behind reading the greens is to get a feel for where you want the ball to go, where you, where you want it to roll. So the process should be this. This is the Jedi mind trick that great putters do, is they stand in a position where their body is about halfway between the cup and the ball. And they also have their shoulders basically square to the target line. So you can see how my shoulders are here, my target line is over there, but in this position, now my eyes, my Jedi mind can see the cup and they can see the ball. Now why is that important? Well, because green reading, as we already discussed and just said, is about understanding where you want the golf ball to go. So by opening your body and your eyes seeing the entire landscape, your mind, the magical mind that we have, will organically and naturally start to give you better touch and better feel. Now if you watch closely, you'll see a lot of your golfing partners, next time you're out playing around a golf, just watch them. If they read the green at all, or read the putt at all, they typically just kind of walk like this, where they're just looking at the cup with no reference to where the ball is at. And then they just kind of walk back, and now they have no reference of where the cup is at. So they've never given their mind the opportunity, their eyes, their Jedi mind, the opportunity to see the cup, see the ball in one vision, which will naturally help. Now number two of the Jedi mind tricks for your putting has to do with what we do in our pre-shot routine. All right, now when you look at great putters, when they make their practice motions, they look at the cup. Boom, see that? So when I'm making my practice motions, I'm looking at the cup. Why is that important? Think about the first thing we just talked about. The purpose of the pre-shot routine or reading the green or any of that is to give your mind an opportunity to see where you want the golf ball to go. So when I make practice motions and I'm looking at the cup like this, all right, I make a couple, now I'm gonna go ahead and set in there, take a step forward, go ahead and just roll it, and boom, I made it. Nick, thumbs up on that. Okay, fine, it's hard to get a thumbs up on a Nick. Nick, give me a thumbs up because I finally made that putt. Why don't you give us a thumbs up if you would? And also, you know my favorite thing. Tell us where you're from, and if you're not afraid, tell us how old you are, and go ahead and put it in the comments. And then last but not least, because we're talking Jedi mind tricks, who's your favorite Star Wars character? As a golf instructor, as a coach, a teacher, whatever, I like Yoda, he's my favorite, but I don't know, maybe Darth Vader, it doesn't matter, but put it in the comments. Now, number one, in the Jedi mind tricks is this, and I guarantee you, if you watch golf on TV and you watch it closely, you're gonna see this with the all-time great putters. It's so subtle that you've been probably seeing it but have never noticed it, and here's what it is. When you place the putter behind the golf ball, I want you to do it with your trail hand only. See this? So my trail hand, which is my right hand only, sets the putter behind the golf ball, and my lead hand, left hand is on my hip. Let me do that again, because this is important. Watch closely, because you're gonna see the greatest putters of all time do this little subtle thing. And I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Place the putter behind the golf ball with your trail hand, lead hand is on your hip, then go ahead and bring it in, and then go ahead and roll it. Now, why is that important? Why is that important? Because when you place the putter behind the golf ball with your trail hand only, couple things happen. Number one is to see how my body's placed. Now my head can rotate this way. And as I'm looking down the target line, I can visualize where that ball is going to roll. So we're tying all this together. Number three was standing here so I could see and I could visualize and I could see, okay, here's the cup, there's the ball, this is where I want it to roll. Number two, I'm in here. I'm making practice motions looking at the cup so I can visualize where I want that golf ball to go, just like a quarterback would when they're throwing a football, a baseball pitcher when they're throwing a pitch, all right? I'm using my mind to do that. And then I tie it all together by holding the putter only in my trail hand so I can look down, aim it, bring the lead hand in, that's my trigger, bring it in, that's my trigger, back at the ball, go ahead and roll it, and yes, I did make that on the first take. Now those are three Jedi mind tricks that can improve your putting. If you want to keep improving your game, check out my next video. And if you want to personally work with us on your golf game, check out VLSCoaching.com.